Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 is obviously the second part in the Mockingjay movies for the Hunger Games. And this is the fourth Hunger Games movie, which have never really been that good to me at all. I'm a big fan of the books. I loved the books, minus... Actually, I didn't really like the third book, but the first two books are great. And I was very excited for the first movie. But to me, that movie was, for the most part, a train wreck. And I really do not enjoy it at all. But then, Hunger Games Catching Fire came out, which was an okay movie. I was not as high on it as a lot of people, but it was passable. I enjoyed watching it for at least half of it. It was an okay movie. But then, Mockingjay Part 1 was a disaster. It was just terrible. You can watch my very passionate review. I'll link it somewhere. And so I was very concerned coming into Mockingjay Part 2. Because I don't like the Mockingjay book. But how did this movie turn out? Just like Catching Fire, I think this movie turned out okay for the most part. There are some things that are just givens at this point. Jennifer Lawrence is a good Katniss. We know this. And even though I enjoyed this movie, the first hour really is just part one again. And I was not enjoying it. There is a really bad opening scene where Josh Hutcherson once again proves he can't act. He just can't. And then it goes into this sequence of scenes in District 2 where oh, there's just a really cheap and manipulative scene that is just awful. And I was worried we were going to another part one. And then you get to the Capitol and things aren't much better. They're just filming more propaganda videos again. And I was like, oh boy. But having read the book, I knew stuff was going to go down. And it did. It went down. And then the movie gets better. Because it's actually about survival and, you know, actually fighting the capital and not making a bunch of propaganda videos when the real heroes are off dying. So, I enjoyed that. There's a great fight scene in a sewer in this movie. Very true to the books, and it worked out very well. It was one of the few effective scenes in the book. It was a very effective scene in the movie. Unfortunately, there are still some serious problems with acting in this movie. Mainly from Josh Hutcherson and Liam Hemsworth, who continue to be terrible in this series. Just plain awful scenes. There's one they have together, which is impossible to watch. Cringeworthy. Josh Hutcherson has a monologue, which part of it's in the trailer. And, oh boy, it was bad. It was bad. And what's worse is that these two scenes are actually in sequence. And at this point, I'm like, oh my god, this movie's going downhill quick. But I think in general, the filmmakers here really got it. This just needs to be the wrap-up. It's entertaining enough. There isn't a lot of downtime. Things are constantly progressing in this movie, which is very different from the other movies, especially part one, where it was a lot of staying in one spot, a lot of just going nowhere, just scenes that didn't bring the story along, were just there so Katniss could have another moment to make people inspired. And here, things are going forward. It's more enjoyable because of that, and it makes it more entertaining and a more tight film. Well, let's talk about the ending a little bit, since this is the final movie. I'm not going to spoil, but I will say that the ending is too long, the movie is too long, shockingly, for a movie that's only about 2 hours and 10 minutes, this is still too long. It's just too long. It goes on forever. It has very Lord of the Rings feel to it, except these scenes aren't essential. They're just extras, and they're fine. They don't bring the movie down, because at this point, the movie has sold me that it's okay. It's okay. It's the second best Hunger Games movie. Congratulations. You're watchable. But, man, I don't know. Just watching these scenes doesn't really make me emotional. They don't really make me think, oh man, the series is ending. All I think is, this movie needs to wrap up. I'm getting bored. 
And this is coming off the heels of a great scene at the end. And it's really well done. I was shocked. I thought that they were going to botch it terribly. But they didn't. They did a really good job, and I was very impressed. So, in summation, this movie was okay. Honestly, even though it might be the second best Hunger Games movie, the second one I'd label with an okay rating, I actually think it might be the least interesting to talk about. Mainly just because there aren't a lot of character scenes. There aren't a lot of individual moments to chew on. It really is just an entertaining finish. A lot in the same way that Duffy Hollows Part 2 was maybe less interesting to talk about because it was just more of an action wrap-up. But the difference is, don't get me wrong, you can't compare these movies. Deathly Hollows Part 2 is in a league of its own compared to this. But for a Hunger Games movie, just being entertaining is actually pretty good. So, overall, I'm going to give this thing a C. It was decent. Of course, I want to know what you all think. Do you actually like the Hunger Games series? I know there are a lot of people that do, including my friends. So if you do, comment below. And of course, you should subscribe to this channel because there'll be plenty more movie reviews coming at you. Subscribe somewhere on the screen. Cleaning it off right now. Clean, clean, clean. Peace out.